Welcome to Northwest Profiles, a look at people, places, and events of interest in the inland Northwest. I've been called Boots too long. And I've been called that so long that I, I don't even recognize my real name. Boots, a.k.a. Roy Reynolds, a one-time jockey, engineer, cowpoke slash ranch hand, and rodeo entertainer, took to illustrating professionally nearly 30 years ago and hasn't looked back. Now one of the premier cowboy cartoonists in the country, Boots, born and raised in Oklahoma on ranches in the Osage country, learned his craft at an early age. As a little kid, we'd go see uh, Western movies, thinking Roy and Gene and all that other ones were cowboys. And we were at home cowboy, you know, and we never looked at it. There was a different bunch of cowboys, you know. Um, we've often thought about that a lot, that we always thought growing up that those people were the cowboys, you know. And uh, that's what we did for a living. Even when I drew horses, um, I'd look at pictures of Will James' stuff. I loved his stuff. He was a cowboy, serious. We have a whole corral full of horses, and I would still look at uh, his work to teach myself what horses looked like. After his stint as a rodeo clown, Boots drew on his talents in illustration and comedy to form a synergy of sorts in cartooning. I always like to make people laugh, so uh, as a class clown, that sort of thing. So it was only natural that I would become a cartoonist, I guess, because uh, in my illustrations, I never did know for years how to draw a cartoon. I had the captions, I had the funny lines to go with them. You do a, um, a caption first and then illustrate it. I never could make those funny pictures to go with the funny sayings. I was looking at a Saturday Evening Post magazine and all the cartoons were at that time in the center of the magazine. And along the bottom of the page, was a couple of little characters. It was nothing. It looked about like a hen egg, uh, and they had eyeballs and mouth expressions, and that's all they had on them. And that's when it dawned on me that that's where you, you know, that's where you get your expression when you're talking to somebody. You're looking them right in the eye. This was my first cartoon character, and like I tell everyone, you start with the eyes. The eyes have all the expression. Uh, this guy here, they've drawn him for years, and uh, just about draw him in my sleep. In fact, this one looks like I drew him in my sleep. As the popularity of cowboy cartooning grows yearly, Roy seems to be pleased the most by the reaction of those that he characterizes in his work, the cowboy. My Western stuff has always been so popular amongst the ranchers and the cowboys, and it's simply because I grew up doing these things, you know, and uh, so when I do a painting of it, my greatest accomplishment is when a cowboy walks up into my booth and, and starts laughing and pointing at something I did and say, I've been there, you know, I've done that, this is real, you know. I would actually uh, do paintings that I thought, no way, you know, this would be this so far off to the right that this never happened to anybody, you know. But I'll be damned if you don't run into people and say, hey, this happened to me. Did you see that? Ethel, you remember that? You can't get far enough out to what somebody want, that has happened to them. With an upcoming date for a one-man show at the Cowboy Hall of Fame in Oklahoma City and a tour of museums throughout the country, Boots is in the process of creating more art for the exhibitions. Example, the Wild Cow Milking Contest. To watch, it's the funniest thing in the world to watch. This is the second time this painting's been done on this canvas. We've changed everything from a big uh, rodeo grounds, uh, with all our rodeo grounds background in it to uh, Pucker Flats, which is a little place in Montana, actually, that uh, the people over around Haver is familiar with. But this is a wild cow milking, and it is just for the benefit, basically, of ranch people. They all get involved in it, and uh, there's no money you know, if you win the whole thing, you probably get enough for a case of beer. And it's more strictly the old rodeo ways of fun.
And they put them all in the pens down here, and they put all the cowboys up at this end of the arena, and they turn all the cows loose and herd them down that way and shoot the gun or whatever, and all the cowboys got to come down and rope a cow. And there's two people in, uh, involved in this, in some cases three, but uh, this guy's got this cow roped, and this is his mugger. This guy's supposed to hold this cow, stop her from, he will stop her as supposed to if he's dallied up or tied on, uh, like this fellow is. He stopped the cow. This guy's supposed to mug her, hold her while he gets off. He's already lost his Coke bottle to get the milk in. And he's supposed to run down and get enough milk out of that cow to pour in a bucket. One of the things you'll find out about my paintings is that the longer you look at them, the more you find in them. And I've had people call me up that's, that's had paintings for a long time and just discover something and have to call me and tell me about it. Marketing of the work is one thing Boots stresses in workshops that he occasionally teaches. And his original paintings are in high demand, especially after prints have hit the market and people get to see it. When he started out, original paintings went for $20 to $50. Today, they are worth much more than that. It'll, it's a $10,000 painting when we're done with it. Uh, and the deal is, I've never set the price on a painting that I thought I couldn't double it on. He'll sell this painting for $10,000, and, and within a year, I can sell it for twenty. As soon as I <coughs> have a grabber and start to feel bad, you know, the price will go up. Always does, you know. Boots' humor is spread out over many years of work, through illustrations done for Lean and Tree Publishing out of Boulder, Colorado, to a body of work in books and magazines and artwork. He is so expressive, he occasionally uses his likeness in his work. Oh yeah, I mean, that one over there, I'll flip you for the one with teeth. Yeah, that's an automatic. Just, it comes out of your mind. That's a face you see every day in the mirror, you know. And if you'll go back through my paintings, you'll notice that now the guys are old and fat and toothless. I've got one where the guy doesn't have any clothes on, you know, and, and uh, the cop is writing him a ticket, and he says, what do you mean in decent exposure? I'm wearing a thong, and you <laughs> his belly's hanging down so far, you know, he's almost on his knees. You can't see a thong if he's got one on, you know. You could say Boots has an agenda, one that puts recognition of cartooning in its own right as an art form. In 1992, he was instrumental in starting up CCI, or Cowboy Cartoonists International, to tout the viability of his and his colleagues' chosen craft. I want humor, cowboy humor, to be recognized as an art. I am serious about humor. This is art in its own form, and the fact that maybe a cowboy likes it more than a street person would like it because he can get more out of it but it's real, it's humor. And that's what we're trying to prove with the CCI. We, we would like for the world to know that this is an art form, and it's, even though it's funny, it's quite serious. I just like to have fun with this, and I do. You know, I'm, look at me, I'm 60 years old. You know, I had two major operations this year. Uh, and if I can't have fun with what I'm doing, I'm not gonna do it. If you have a story idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSPS-TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington, 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSPS Public Television.